there's a lot of interesting developments. My God. So the first thing, as you guys have probably heard or haven't heard, Maximilian Musk deleted his channel. Now, I'm not sure when he did this, but allegedly from a person that's in my comment section right now claiming to be Maximilian Musk's alt account, he said about an hour ago, so that would be like 1 p.m. Central Time. Now, I don't know if this is the actual Maximilian Musk. I mean... It would stand to reason that it might be. Like, there's a probability there. And maybe, a, you know, like, it's a small teensy one. Or it could just be a troll. But I gotta think, what does a troll arguing with other people in my comment section really get out of this whole thing? Not much. So, yeah. Max's alt is there if you want to talk to him, I guess. It's in my previous video. But his reasoning for deleting his channel was that he didn't want to be spam-botted or something. Now, this comes off the heels of him making an apology, or rather, an explanation of sorts. So, the explanation that he wrote was about last night, and it was before he deleted his channel, and it reads as followed, and it addresses a lot of things, but it doesn't address one key thing, which is, like, the one problem that I have with everything, and the one problem that I said, you cannot make a defense for this guy based on these actions. However, these... This, well, let's just read it. About the CP allegations, I've never said that it's okay as a joke or that it's just a troll. Nor does Critical after claiming three times that he's seen me say that it's okay as a joke. Does he provide any substantial evidence? CP is completely horrible and disgusting, and anyone who's ever been in my servers throughout the years know how much raiding we do and how raiding is against Discord TOS, hence why the servers get taken down and not due to CP. He also makes the claim that I made a Reddit post and cleaned my own subreddit away from the proof. I don't own my subreddit, it's owned by someone I've known for years, nor do I own a Reddit account. My subreddit was used mainly by people who got banned from my Discord so that they could share the invites and rejoin on alt. And after discovering that I told my friend to private subreddit, Critical says the two people speculating on why one of my many discords were banned and guessing was for CP is proof for this. And the reason why my subreddit is private, which is untrue, about forcing someone to eat their own shit. He says we went to a live stream and forced someone to do this. It was just a private Discord call with like five people. There was no live stream. The man in question is known as JMAA. JMAA is a 30 something year old man who is known for calling police stations to fake bomb threats, claiming responsibility for mass shootings after they happen, and also sending pizzas to people of houses of whom he doesn't like. I was in a call with him and some others, and he turned his camera on. He was naked and doing weird stuff, and I said, eat your own shit, and he straight up did it. That was my second ever interaction with him, and the only thing I knew about him coming up to that call was that he's known for some bad things. I never threatened him to do it. I never said I was going to kill him if he didn't do it. It was never live streamed, and no fans were there to threaten him. I did encourage him to do it, which was wrong, but he was never forced. I highly urge you to look him up for yourself to find the details. And then he goes on to explain certain things in Critical's video, which one of it is he also shows a screenshot at 0, 27 seconds, which is fake, but there's not much that can be said because it's word against words. The Wii stuff is true, not the doxing. The YouTube raids is true. The Twitch raids is true. The sending fans to make fun of Wii's girlfriend, dad, is true. I've done a lot of scummy things. And there's a lot of good reasons to hate me, but the CP stuff is literally untrue. I've never said it's okay. I've never even said it's okay as a joke. And if I had a server and someone told me that somebody was posting that, I would ban them immediately. I see being toxic and rude as a cheat code for easy attention. It's not mature, and there's many points you could argue against it. I'm not here to defend that, but I want to reiterate. I've never ever said CP is okay. I've never said it's just a troll. Max then proceeds to make a TLDR. He says, TLDR never said CP is okay. Never forced someone to eat their shit, but encouraged it. Uh, raiding, a toxic, and rude stuff is true, but was never something I tried to hide. Now, this was optic-wise and realistically a good response. There's only one problem, and it continues to be the problem. It throws a wrench in everything. Because I do believe Critical did not make that video in good faith. I believe that Critical got salty that he got raided, right? Because he seems like that soft kind of type. Uh... So that's why he made the video. He didn't make the video for any other reason other than that. 
let's be honest here, right? It's very convenient that he decided to make the video after he got raided, right? And let's be fucking honest, he was pissed. You know how we can tell he was pissed? Because Critical literally called Max's fanbase pedophiles in the spur of the moment because he got mad. Then he got raided. So let's not act like Critical is like a freaking saint here. He is not. He's not. He's petty. He got salty, and that's about it. And now he's using the moral high horse, blah, blah, blah. All right? Now, regardless of what Critical's intentions were, he did bring up some valid points. Well, he didn't. His friends kind of did. Freaking Augie made a better argument. Uh, Turkey Tom, hell, he made better arguments and better evidence. And even Mudahar made a better argument, a better structured freaking video. You know, it's kind of a funny... It, it, is, fu it is objectively hilarious, the story that he's telling. But then you remember the fact that he's doing this with children in the call. After he lured them into the call in the first place, right? Like, you know, talking to children on Discord is not inherently a bad thing. But when you're, you know, trying to hit up children and, and bring them into calls while your friends are, you know, inserting uh, pieces of paper to their asshole. Presumably, that's the reason why he's luring these kids in the call. To freak them out. To traumatize them with this shit. Um, not only would I say that's an asshole thing to do, but I would almost say that that's pedophilic. I mean, why else would you lure children into your call uh, while your friends are doing this type of shit? I mean... I don't know, dude. Call me crazy here, all right? But it seems to be a little bit pedophilic, and I'd hate that I have to walk on eggshells when covering stories like that. In order to find out more about Max, Balabong, and some of the people that were involved. I'll spare you all the unnecessary details, but there were a few particularly interesting things that we managed to uncover. The starting point was Balabong. Who was this man, and why was he able to fit so damn much in? Did the pencil hurt? What did it taste like? So many important questions to ask. I'm not sure why you're hanging out with this guy, Kazoo. Kinda cringe, bro. The first thing we got was Balabong's Minecraft profile, then his Facebook, his Jithub, his old YouTube channel, and his Reddit. And obviously, we have his personal information censored. We have, however, sent our information to the European authorities, including including, of course, the recordings of Alex over here doing some questionable things with his butthole. Because of this off-platform behavior, Max's discords are... Uh, they, they sort of come and go, okay? Like, they, they get removed, they get brought back. It's a whole wild case. There have been people who are sharing Maximilian pr Discord, like, proof of sharing inappropriate content. Now, Charlie made a video, you know, I mentioned earlier, where he made a bold claim that said that there's things like, you know, child material being shared on his Discords. Now, I'm not going to co-sign with that on Charlie simply due to the fact that that is a very, very bold claim. Now, I'm not going to co-sign with that on Charlie simply due to the fact that that is a very, very bold Bold claim. Now, I'm not going to co-sign with that on Charlie simply due to the fact that that is a very, very bold claim. On this whole situation, any even one consistent thing, actually, that mo these, these two people, Ag Augie and Mudahar, said was that, well, Critical should have done a little more or shown a little more, you know, paraphrasing, but I believe that was what was said, at least to an extent. And so, I agree with that, at least they're willing to acknowledge that Critical's video was not a masterpiece, because quite frankly, it was a shit fest. It was shit. It was garbage. It was literally Critical just saying, believe me because I'm Critical, right? And because I'm not a fanboy, I'm not gonna bow down and pretend like this hippie has, like, the godsend word of mouth. Because that's literally what the audience was saying. I've never seen a bad take from Critical, therefore he right right now. Now, fuck off. That is the laziest bitches move to do. I know about being lazy, but one thing I don't know about is being a bitch. So do your fucking work next time and don't fucking blindly accept it just because it's fucking critical. Especially when critical is going around making these big charge accusations. Now that being said, and after me ripping into critical and tearing him a new one, I gotta say, for the facts that stand for themselves, I and, and it's worth noting that not even Max address this and it's the it's the killing blow so to speak and it's something he didn't address and it's because i think deep down he can't address it because this is the one thing that's the detriment to him and that doesn't save him and that is the fact that you brought lieutenant cobra and a underage turkey tom i believe at the time and he brought him into a call and he let his his friend or his fan or whatever do some really weird stuff and as augie said it maybe borderline pedophilic stuff right based on how it is presented you can't deny that 
That is the one biggest problem in all this. Now, does this mean Maximilian Muss is a pedophile? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. In fact, I think a lot of the things said about him were probably over-exaggerated, to be honest. Because of the way the internet works, I wouldn't be surprised, right? A pro like, a majority were critical said probably hyperbolitized stuff. As for the accounts of other people, it all comes down to the whole them thinking he's shit. And, and a bad person and mean and this and that it's never any legitimate kind of proof so you're just gonna have to kind of go off of a lot of scorn angry people at this one person who's an easy target that's how it comes off right again we don't really know i don't really know because apparently these guys have been following max for years and apparently this has been going on for years but again i wouldn't know because i didn't dig into this shit for the people that did, well, why wasn't there a cancellation party for Max earlier? Kind of makes you wonder, bro. Kind of makes you wonder. I think that if there was a guy posting CP, you'd want him off the platform faster. And that's the narrative that the audience and generally everybody's going with. Max posts CP, right? Because of Critical's video, that's what they got out of it. So it's kind of weird. I, I just find it to be a little bullshit. A little bullshit. But still, the one thing, and this was provided by Tom and... Augie, right? Those are the only two people, and again, the only detriment to Max. Lieutenant Cobra incident. You can't really defend that. That's like the one detrimental thing to him, right? Not going to call Max a pedophile. Not going to insinuate he's one, just like Critical did. Because I feel like you have to make that statement for real, right? Or, y you know, you look like a bitch tiptoeing around it, right? So I'll just do the draw your own conclusions bit like any other YouTuber would do for optics purposes but for me personally i don't think max is a pedophile i'm sorry i i apologize for not being part of the herd i know it would be really cool and really you know safe of me to do so but i'm not easily swayed i don't know what to tell you that being out of the way he deleted his channel today interestingly enough after you know like i told you quote unquote allegedly an hour or two ago whatever the fuck so, and, and he said that the reason for it was so he didn't want to be spam botted or whatever. Now, according to Augie, he still has the ability to bring this channel back at any time. Maybe he'll do it, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? I don't think it was YouTube that pulled the plug on him. I don't know if it was necessarily the, the critical video. I guess it might have been the critical video because critical, again, what you got out of the critical video, well, I didn't get it out of it because I have a fucking brain cell. But what the majority of people got out of the critical video was that max equal pedo. Right? That's what they got out of it. So, you know, good job, Critical. You show that you're shit at conveying points when you get salty and you get upset and you get your feelings hurt. You know, but I would expect nothing more than somebody who played with AOC, right? I'm glad that you have friends like Augie and Turkey Tom and Mudahara that have to make your points for you. That have to convey the message in a more coherent fucking light. I wish I had that. Unfortunately, I don't because I don't fucking suck other men's, you know dongs off and i'm kind of a one person army i've been doing this by myself everything i've gotten up to this point was by myself right so i wouldn't know dude i'm sorry i wouldn't know about doing that or being a corporate puppet and that's all i got for this video guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below i think i was the most unbiased take i think i called it right down the middle but you tell me tell me if this is flip flopping <laughs> um you know if you're a random spurg you know comment give me the interaction right just mauled in the fact that you'll never be up here you'll continue to be down there while you know helping elevate me and if you're a fan thanks for sticking through all the bullshit you know we're standing strong still to this fucking day you know, I built this house for all of you, you beautiful sons of guns. Continue to support the truth. The truth! Or whatever the fuck there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get myself a freaking McMuffin. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.